Hello CS50 introduction to artificial intelligence with Python. This is my project one nights and I'm going through the code line by line and thereby I'm showing you the functioning of my application. So here you see we have a knight and a knave which just means a is a knight or a is a knave. So let's jump into puzzle zero. We have a says I'm both a knight and a knave. And first we have to encode the rules of the game. So A can either be a knight or a knave. So here we have the OR operator, but this does not exclude that um, A can be both a knight and a knave. It just means that he has to be one of it. So we add an implication where we say A is a knight, which then means that he cannot be a knave. And if he is a knave, he cannot be a knight. Now we will translate the sentence that is given in the puzzle. I am both a knight and a knave. And we will use a by conditional. So if and only if he tells the truth, i.e. is a knight, he is a knight and a knave. And now if we run the application, we see, voila, A must be a knave. Because, of course, this is impossible. This is quite easy to solve also and to see. Jumping into puzzle 1, A says we are both knaves and B says nothing. So we copy the game information from above, the org and uh, implication conditions, and now we see what we add in this puzzle here. So if and only if A tells the truth, i.e. is a knight, then A is a knave and B is also a knave. So we run it and see, and this is of course also not true as A must be a knave and B is a knight. Then in puzzle 2, A says we are of the same kind and B says we are of different kinds. So as above, we just copy the or and applications and um, you, you have to watch up because I made a mistake earlier. You don't, you should not give too much information here. So looking at our conditions, the first is um, that they are of the same kind. So uh, here we say if A is a knight, then either A and B are knights or A and B are knaves. And the other biconditional is that if B tells the truth, then A is a knight and he is a knave, or A is a knave and he is a knight. And we run the application and see that A is a knave and B a knight. Jumping into puzzle tree, we see that A says either I'm a knight or I'm a knave. B says A said I'm a knave. B says also C is a knave and C says A is a knight. So we copy that from above as we've seen before and we jump into the first by conditional. So the first statement by A just means well if and only if he is a knight or knave then he is a knight or knave. Pretty straightforward. Then the second is if B tells the truth, the truth that A said I'm a knife, then we have another biconditional where we say if A doesn't tell the truth, i.e. he lies, this would mean that he is a knight and he's actually not lying. So for the third biconditional we have, well, if B tells the truth and he's a knight because he said C is a knave, right? And then C said this, that A is a knight, which means that if C tells the truth, a must be a knight. And as we see, A is a knight, B is a knave, and C is also a knave, just as expected. So this was my Project 1 Knights.